In today's health alert, Metro Detroit schools closing their doors in response to stomach bugs, and it comes with Christmas just two weeks away. Party Elementary School reopened today after being closed Friday when nearly 100 students were reported as ill. Also today, Woodland Meadows Elementary in Saline closed due to a similar illness making its rounds. The district telling us today the school is expected to be back in session tomorrow. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us now. And Doc, what do we know about today's closure and in Saline? So, Brian, you know, the district says about 30% of second graders were experiencing gastroenteritis symptoms and about half of the classrooms had reported illnesses. Now, after con uh, contacting the, the health department at Washington County, the decision was made to close the school. Now, gastroenteritis is an inflammation of the lining of the, of the stomach and intestines. It can be caused by many different viruses. However, the norovirus is the most common and it's highly contagious. Now, when you have norovirus, you can feel extremely ill. And this infectious bug can cause all kinds of pleasant symptoms like diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, and stomach pain. You can also develop a fever, headaches, and body aches. Unfortunately, when you're sick with norovirus, you can vomit or have diarrhea several times a day. The good news is that symptoms of norovirus typically last one to three days for most folks. And you can go back to work or school once you've been without symptoms for 48 hours. So, okay, so we, we know what to do when, after you have it, but what about the symptoms to look out for? How long are students contagious for? And what do parents need to know about Yeah, that? important stuff, right? So infected person, Brian, could shed the virus for two weeks or longer, but you're most likely to pass it on when you're showing symptoms and during the initial days after you start feeling better. Now, what I'd like parents to be aware of is the potential for complications. That's important because norovirus causes vomiting and diarrhea. It can lead to dehydration, which can be serious for young kids as well as older adults, people with weak weakened immune systems and pregnant women. So contact your doctor or seek medical care if your child or loved one shows any of these signs of dehydration like a dry mouth few tears when crying or urinates less than three times a day, develop a high fever, experiences ongoing diarrhea or vomiting even after a few days, or vomits blood or has bloody diarrhea or severe stomach pain. Now, despite its contagious nature, there are ways to prevent the spread. Now, here's some tips. Wash hands thoroughly. We talk about this all the time. With soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces, including uh, you know, places that you touch you know, throughout the day, use bleach. Watch, wash a dirty laundry in hot water. If you're sick, avoid preparing or serving food to others and handle vomit and feces. Carefully use disposable gloves and towels. With the holidays approaching and more families gathering together, Brian, it's important and crucial to be aware of the virus and its potential serious impact on certain individuals. That's why I think that you can prevent this and, and prevent the spread like you, you know, in the schools, it's going rampant and it can go in your family. And because as well. of how strong the symptoms can be, avoiding it might also be avoiding a trip to the emergency room. Especially people who are, are at risk and they could actually end up in the emergency room and yeah. you can have potential side effects. All right. Dr. Nandy, grateful as always. Hey, my Thank pleasure. You. Of course. Good to see you again. Same here. <laughs> if you have a health question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook. Glenda.